Aquabead Hypergloss Ceramic Coating and Armor Shield by Avalon King. I'm landing with Aqualux out of detailing today. I'm going to be doing a versus or comparison, if you will, video on Avalon King and my ceramic coating. So these are the two we're going to be testing out. Avalon King is going to be on the left. Aqua bead, my ceramic coating is going to be on the right. All right, so real quick while we're going to be doing these and I have prepped both of these, we're going to look at the temperature. It's 70 degrees, 67% humidity. These have both been polished, prepped, everything. It's good to go. So on price point, Avalon King, $69.99. My ceramic coating, $89.95. 50 mils, 30 mils, first thing. Second thing, two year coating, three year coating. Consumer grade, professional industrial, okay? I also have a kit that comes with eight ounces. It's called Aftercare and it's just awesome that complements us and you can put it on immediately after that. So we're here to do these two. I got the instructions real quick. I don't know if y'all are familiar with this stuff, but uh, they say that uh, in these temperatures, you can expect around um, one minute of flash time, okay? Um, probably around these. So humidity always plays a factor, but we have this stuff uh, prepped and ready to go. But we're going to talk about the drying and curing. Um, the first thing with Avalon King is they say they do not want it seeing anything for 48 hours. With mine, you can get it wet in four hours. You can wash it day four. They don't really want you washing this till day seven. It says four to seven days, but they really hit, they really come here. So that, I don't know if they're, so four to seven days, and then they come over here and they say, five, avoid washing with soap for the first five to seven days. So it's up in there. So the other thing is Avalon King, it took them about 15 days to get me this. Bought it with my own money, not knocking them. It comes in a nice little kit, I guess, and so it comes in the box, you get the applicator, and you get uh, the block in three applicators, okay? So we're just going to use one, and we're going to get our uh, other one going here in a second, but I'm going to open the bottle after I get this done. So brand new bottle. And they have a dripper. I guess you got to open it up. Trying to, excuse me, okay, there we go. All right, put that right there. And we're gonna let it sit. We're gonna push both these to um, probably about the same amount of timeline, if not longer on mine, but we're gonna do just this little area, all right? And I'm gonna apply it on heavy. If I can get it to come out, okay. Another thing is this stuff is made in China. Mine is made in the USA, MSDS sheet to prove it. All right, and it is mine. Here we go. All right. So it is rainbowing right off the bat, okay? Y'all should be able to see that. I'm gonna come up, down, all right. I'll tell you right now, that stuff has a very potent smells like a, yeah, definitely make sure you're wearing a respirator. I know they say it in the directions, but I'm gonna tell you right now, that stuff is a doozy on the, uh, the breathing aspect. So I would definitely make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area. That's gonna be something I would highly suggest because I can smell that very quickly off the bat. So, Mine, easy to apply, okay? So we got this one on here. We're gonna leave it sit there for a minute, all right? We're probably close to it, but uh, we'll, we'll give it another 20 seconds, okay? So put it on there and then after we do this, we are going to be testing these weekly. So I'm gonna do a weekly wash behind. This is all aqua bead back here, so we're gonna have something to go off of. 
After this video, I'm going to do a comparison video on uh, CarPro 3.0. All right. So it's been on there for roughly a minute. I'm going to fan this a little bit because I want it to make sure it's completely where it needs to be. Okay, so you can see heavy rainbowing. Whew, man. You're definitely going to need to flip your cloth over. So Landon, why did you come out with your ceramic coating? I came out with my ceramic coating because I wanted to fill a void in the market on price point and shipping speed. That was my big thing. So I wanted shipping speed, I wanted price point, I wanted you to get great you know, amount of product for what you were doing. And for under hundred bucks, you can get the kit. All right. So that, that's the big thing. So it's smooth. Uh, I'm not really trying to be negative or positive, you know, either way. Um, there you go. So there's Avalon King. I think we knocked it. So we're going to leave this panel in here for uh, the remainder of the seven days along with mine. All right. So make sure this thing's on tight. And my shipping speed, I can get it to you two days typically. Uh, three days sometimes just depends where you um, are coming from. Another thing, uh, so you get a block and four applicators. My applicators are bigger than theirs. I can tell you that right now. So if you want a little comparison what they look like, I'm just going to tell you right now, mine are bigger, easier to put around the block, okay? So that's something, and you get four of them. want to make sure that you have enough or if you need to do something else. You can also apply mine to plastics, and you can apply it to glass. So there you go. I got a fresh bottle. Nice. There we go. And when I do this, I like to make sure I get the face wet, just like I did theirs. But you never want any low spots, all right? And for me, I wanted long working time. That was something I really wanted, OK? That was a big deal to me. And I wanted it to be fun, and you don't have to polish. I know they say the same thing. I'm going to be hitting wickets here and there, so forgive me about my ADHD. So you don't have to polish, but it's recommended, okay? So 89 95 for 50 mils. Theirs is 69 99 for... 30 mils, all right? You saw how quick that, that easy it was, simple. And this one, if you reapply it and you come back and find any high spots you got with Aquabead, you will be able to reapply it and buff off. Now I want you to see something right here. You're getting longer working time. The key, key for my coating is going to be when you see it rainbow, you can buff off. However, you do not have to buff off immediately when you see it rainbow. You're already going to see it right here. But I wanted longer working time, okay? Big deal. I wanted it simple. I wanted guys to not be able to have to stress, take a phone call, go to the bathroom, change a diaper if you will, all right? There's a lot of things out there. So you're watching it as it goes. And we're just going to leave them be. Uh, for a week and then we'll test them like I said and then that one will be with it and then after this we'll be I'll pull out another panel and it'll be Aquabead and CarPro 3.0 all right so on the working time I would say you have more with mine and it's at 62 percent humidity and they say do not reply there's a sunlight I'm going to be showing you guys can do mine outdoors that was another thing so if you don't have to be freaked out about paint correction. I want you to be able to do it. You can clay, do a pH, you know, a strip wash, iron decon, clay, prep, coat. All right. And you can layer this within one hour. You can get wet in four days, washed on day four. That's the big thing. Can't do anything really till day seven with theirs. But to be able to get it out of your, out of your garage, get another client in, flip clients faster, if you will. 
and be profitable. I'll be putting the links below for both these, and y'all can uh, check them out. All right, so there's mine. I'm literally letting it go way past anybody but would probably normally do. And then you only have to buff off, all right? Super easy buff off. Don't have to fight it. That was not the design. I didn't want fighting. Slick on buff off. There you go. And you don't need to flip the towel. I, it was designed to do one towel. One side of the towel and you're done. Just like that. 16 by 16, fold it in half, buff off. All right? I don't see any high spots. Let me make sure on camera because it picks up a different thing, especially with the lighting. But that is it, y'all. I'm not going to be much more on the microphone. So we're going to watch these two after, you know, a week, come back, wash them, and compare the results, see what goes on, and we'll take it from there. So y'all take it easy. I love y'all. Have a great weekend. Bye.